Hello, and welcome to the first ever voiceover time lapse on this channel. Today we're modeling a set of stylized bottles, which will eventually be a part of a larger tavern scene I'm currently working on. So first off, we're using Maya to block out the basic shapes. This is usually the quickest process in the pipeline, but it's also the most important to get right, as it's the foundation of your model and everything else is just detail added on top. So if you're following along, I recommend you find a good amount of reference before beginning your model. Now that we've blocked out the first bottle, I'm simply hardening and softening in the appropriate areas so once the high res mesh is baked on, we don't get any unwanted jagged or hard edges in the final product. Adjusting the first bottle as a baseline, I can easily create different variations instead of starting all over every time. Last but not least, we've got this rectangular bottle just to change things up a bit. So now that we have all four bottles blocked out, it's time to start unwrapping the UVs. All of the bottles are unwrapped fairly similarly and they're pretty easy to unwrap due to their simplicity.
Now that that's taken care of, it's time for the fun bit. Moving on to ZBrush, we can start to add some of those high res details that get baked down onto our low res model. Here I'm using the standard ZBrush brushes, as well as some community made brushes, which I will add a link to in the description if you're interested. The goal here is to simplify things and exaggerate edges, giving it an almost hand painted look. The Trim Dynamic brush is fantastic for this effect. Sometimes I change the material, as this can help find any imperfections hidden in another material. Here I'm using one of the community made brushes that I mentioned earlier, Orb Pinch which really exaggerates the edges of the model for that stylized look. For the rest of the bottles, I just rinse and repeat using the same brushes as the first one, except for the cork which I reuse for all the bottles. I'd also love to hear if you have any tips or suggestions, or even have any questions of your own in the comments below.
I decided to use the Orb Cracks brush to make some cracks and scratches for that finer detail.
Now that the sculpting is finished, it's time to bake and texture. I bake my normals and curvature and go to town. I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to texture this going into it, but I decided that transparency didn't fit the look I was going for. I played around with a few different ideas, but I think I like how it turned out in the end. Now that I've decided on each material, it's just a matter of tweaking it for each bottle. Thanks a bunch for watching this video, I learned a lot making this and I hope you got something out of it as well. If you did, consider subscribing, liking or even sharing the video with someone you think would enjoy it. And stay tuned for more content just like this one.